Good morning. Hi, hello. Oh, familiar morning. faces. Friend. Yeah, good morning. Is it ever heard? Yes. Okay. But more important, okay, I, more important yeah. than me, it's Horst Sievert sitting next to me. Ah, come on. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> oh, Horst. <laughs> Hi, good morning. What do you have for us? So sorry, I cannot see your face, but I can hear your, your lovely sound. <laughs> we are waving at you. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Eberhard, SG, and the host, and uh, all of the uh, new friends and old friends. Wonderful. So let me first let me introduce you my team here. Yes. So you know him quite well. <laughs> the next to me is uh, Dr. Liu. Hi. And Hi. then next is Dr. Gao and uh, Mrs. Chen. And also we have, uh, today we have uh, Dr. Zhang just uh, stand yeah. on the, my back. And it's He's not. a very good anesthesiologist. And uh, we have an echocardiography over there. Okay, uh, Ms. Yu. Uh, very interesting, today we have uh, the two the beautiful ladies coming. They are, they are, they are uh, this, this reporter. They are reporters from lo very famous local magazine, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, first, I would uh, uh, invite uh, Dr. Liu to deliver an uh, introduction to the case. Um, morning. Uh, the, the patient uh, is a... Uh, uh, I'm sorry, so the, the patient is uh, uh, about over 70 years old female. The patient has uh, repeated exertional dyspnea for over one month. Go back, please go back. Yeah, the patient, uh, heart function is poor, about New York heart function grade four. Okay, next please. And the patient has a uh, uh, mild uh, respiratory dysfunction, and uh, we calculated the STS score about 5.5%, and the patient has a uh, five meter walk about 8.5 se seconds, and a grip strength uh, about three kilogram. Okay, next please. From the echo, we can see the left uh, uh, ventricular ejection about 66, and the heart is, uh, the myocardium is very thick, and the cavity is very small. So the patient uh, looks like the D3, the AVA about 0.4 centimeter square, and the max velocity about a four, and the mean gradient about 40. So Professor Wang will introduce the echo just uh, uh, the TE uh, later. Okay, next please. Uh, the angiography of the coronary is, is okay. Just uh, about 40% of the middle LAD stenosis, we don't need to do the PCI for the patient. Okay, from the CT scan, we can see, like here, the patient is a type zero bicuspid aortic valve. And from the annulus, the patient about, the annulus about 22, uh, millimeter, and uh, we can see the calcification just a moderate. Next, please. Next, next. From the coronary height, it's okay. Next, please. Uh, the femoral artery for this patient is good. However, we can see r the patient is very changing, challenging. So because the angulation is very large, over 70 uh, degree, mm. and the access is a little bit tortuous. Next, please. The femoral artery is good. Uh, today, we will choose the right femoral artery access. So for the procedural challenges and strategy, so this patient, the challenge is the type zero bicuspid aortic valve and the horizontal aorta, and the tortuous access. More importantly, the patient, the left ventricle is very small, the suicide left ventricle. So we have to be very careful about that. So today we will use the TAVA procedure and we will use venous A plus and we will use local anesthesia plus sedation. And the Professor Wang will use <coughs> the simpler annular assessment and then decide what size we will use for the venous A plus. Okay, so. Professor Wang will introduce the echo okay. and the Venus A plus for you guys. So the I like the Doctor Yi to introduce you the echo cardiography. What is her found finding? Okay, Doctor Yi. 
，声音响点。那是啊，百卡是一个 L 的。涛声切大大一点，涛声。So can you see the TE screen? 涛声切大大屏幕。Hi, Albert. Yes, yes. Can you see the TE screen? Yes, we can see this. Okay. So the the chamber, the left ventricular chamber is very small. Can you see that? Uh, yeah. Left wall is a very ventricular wall is a very thick. Mm-hmm. Okay, keep on going. But you say the sound, you sing it loud. Say, "I'm going to say." I say, "You don't say." Okay. Say. Yeah, this is. So you can see this is the long axis view of the TE. Very clear. It's a very severe aortic stenosis without regurgitation. Put the tensor out. So the. Uh, so the V max is uh, very high. It's ninety-eight. Uh, <coughs> ninety-eight. Uh, it's a four hundred. Yeah, close to hundred. Four hundred ninety-five centimeter per second. Mm-hmm. Oh uh, yeah, yes, close. So the max max pressure gradient is uh, almost one hundred millimeter mercury, and the mean is uh, forty-four. Okay. Okay. So now we uh, go over the procedure. So VNC plus. So. 切到幻灯片。So you please introduce the Venus A plus for the audience. Okay, okay. So can you see that the this is a Venus A plus device. It is still on the clinical trial, clinical studies, has not been on commercial yet. For the morphology of device is quite close to the Venus. Exactly same as the Venus. However, the different in the in the sheets, in the sheets. So can you see the sheets clear? Yeah, we so can see. So especially it. we yeah. do some work on the sheath tip, so so make sure the device is uh, can be uh, totally <coughs> retrievable to the sheath. Uh, however, we we work with the engineer. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, I I forgot to introduce the 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 Mr. Doctor Zhang. Uh, Mr. Zhang. Zhang. Uh, uh, Mr. Zhang. Zhang. Doctor Zhang. Doctor Zhang. Uh, he is an engineer, so we always work together. Uh, we we change a lot. So we change the type of different type of design to make sure the retrieval is uh, is safe and uh, is easily. Uh, however, the compared with the Venus A, the Venus A Plus, the it's uh, still a little bit of stiffness, uh, especially when the tongue are wrong and uh, to go to into the orifice. So uh, we can show you uh, what is going on today. So. So now we we need to go over the procedure. Okay. okay. Uh, now we have uh, we, we did a bilateral puncture. However, we use the right femoral artery as uh, so ac accessory way. Okay. Hmm? Go over. Yeah. Okay. So with first we did the left side puncture, mm -hmm. and then, then we use the echocardiography guided. The, we puncture the the right side. Uh, before we use the angiogram guide, but now we <coughs> use the echocardi <laughs> echocard ultrasound guide instead of the uh, angiogram guide. So now the get the she's in, it's a very big she's it's a right. 20 French size she's. Uh, now we we did a angiogram you can see the aorta angiogram no regurg is uh, moderate uh, calcification there, uh, the corner sinus looks okay, yeah. uh, from the non-selective corner angiogram. angiogram. But however the the angle is quite big, the ascending uh, aorta a big angle is almost horizontal. So it, it, it is a very challenging case, I think. Okay. Yeah. Keep on going. Now the it's uh, not tough to go through the through the orifice of the valve. So now we get the pigtail in. The gradient. The pressure gradient. Uh, the measure. Uh, the pressure gradient we measured is uh, left ventricle is 180 and uh, a other is 133. So it's uh, uh, close to the 50 millimeter mercury. So uh, can you see the uh, hemodynamic screen? No, we see the echo and the uh, now we we'll see it. Yeah. Okay. Now we can see it. <coughs> you cannot see. Oh, you can see the. Yeah. Now we can see it. So the 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 patient has uh, several challenges. The first one is the it's a typical bicast, uh, type zero uh, aortic valve stenosis. Right. The second one is the. The ascending order is quite horizontal. It's a very challenge. And 
Uh, because okay. the uh, Venus A plus has a little bit of stiffness, stiffer than the regular Venus A. So mm -hmm. it's a it's a one more challenge to go through the yeah. go through the wall. Uh, more cavity. Uh -huh. More cavity of the left. Also, the, the third challenge is the the left ventricular chamber is too small. The the wall is uh, very thick. So we are worried about because of the we use the we we have only the long crest Y available. It's a very stiffness. So we. Are We'll we be very cautious about this kind of case. If the left ventricular chamber is too small, so is it easy to okay. damage the, the, the ventricular, the ventricular wall, even yeah. may cause the perforation of the ventricular wall. So it's a, uh, yes, it's a little bit challenging for this. Uh, this is what we have done up to now. So now I'm going to further the procedure. OK, now we advance the Y. Oh, sorry. Uh, we advance the Y to the to the left ventricle. Okay. So this is a, a Lunderquist wire. Is it the uh, straight the Lunderquist or the curved Lunderquist? Yeah, yeah, yes. It's, this, this is a Lunderquist. Is it the straight version I, or I the curved? Like, I don't like the Lunderquist much, but uh, however, we, 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 we have only Lunderquist available. So we my have to do that. My question is, is it the curved version Can or the straight the, version? The aorta is very tall to us. Uh, it's a straight version. We we make a tip, we make a circle, circle on the tip. So that's the tip. But but uh, you may be aware that there's a curved version for for thoracic endografting, mm. and the straight version. So uh, and that curve is not at the tip. It's uh, about where the aortic arch is supposed to be. So we we need to watch the electrical cardiogram monitor. We don't want to see the too many the. Uh, too too many the ventricular ectopies are stimulated. Mm. If too many the ventricular ectopies means the uh, the 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 wires uh, stimulate the ventricle too much, it may be easy to cause the perforation. Sorry, so for this size. So now we are going to do yeah. the balloon uh, sizing and the balloon vibratomy. So Sorry. so so what is your uh, idea? How big size of balloon we are going to use? Can I have a question How about the size of our balloon? Birth? You you suggest. For this sort, for this sort of suicidal LV with okay. very small size, what will be the preferable type of guide wire that we can mm -hmm. use? Suppose we have free free choice of many type of guide wire. Any uh, I think the best one is a safari. Yeah, small curve. Extra small curve. I, I, I like yeah. the safari. I think I think the safari is uh, safari is very good. The, the tip is a uh, circle and uh, the the wire is not so stiffness. It's uh, not easy to cause damage of the uh, ventricular muscle. Uh, but the, the yeah, safari, the support is not so strong. Mm. Uh, sure. But the other question is the support is strong. However, the, the, the problem is the, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a too stiffness. It's not good. <coughs> it may cause the perforation of the heart. So, so what is the idea about the, the balloon side you prefer? Do you prefer? <coughs> Does anybody have an idea what what kind of wire would that you be your choice in this in this situation the Lundquist? So given the hypertrophy, giving the you know I the small the yeah. no, I Well, I think the combination with the venous no valve, way. yes, the Lundquist would be only. Well, yeah, I don't know. It's that too stiff. It was a core valve. Mm -hmm. The uh, core valve we could use. Yeah, a safari. Agreed. Yeah. To pump it, I think. But uh, yeah, with, with, the, with the venous valve, this will only work with the lender crystal. Makes a difference. Why? It's, it's, weak, it's more, more stiff. Uh, uh, the sure. capsule is more stiff. Is it uh, recapturable? Like so now, can one? you see that? Yeah. Uh, because of the uh, the chamber of left ventricle is too small. Yes. So it's uh, the push the the Y. So the so we can see that the, the part of the Y in the left ventricle is uh, short. Uh, it's mm. changing. So we are going to. Re re replace the Y. We try to get the pigtail in. Then we we need to change the Y position. Okay. Oh, that's better. Much yeah. better. Yeah, stay there. Yeah. Right. Stay there. Yeah. I, think I think it's okay. Yeah, much better. I think if mm -hmm. we could choose whatever. But we have to hold the Y tightly. Otherwise, the because the of the pump if if effect may cause the Y the the white pump off. <coughs> so now we are going to do, uh, but uh, however, there are too many ventricular ectopies. 
I'm a little bit worried about the tension of the Y attached the left ventricle wall. So would you hold the Y, please? Uh, don't move the bed. Don't move the bed, please. Just a minute. Just a minute. Pop. Okay. Now I advance the, sh the balloon right inside the gradually. Which size is that? 20 so we selected the balloon 20, 20, 20. 20. 20. Hmm. It's a new mat balloon? Yes, it's a new mat. So we 20. Go it's the regular way, <coughs> the regular size we, we initiate. Okay. We, we, we initiate the balloon size. So he's, uh, Professor Wang is always doing the, yeah. um, the, the is ready. cuspid valves, the balloon sizing, <laughs> until yeah. he finds yeah. the proper size yeah. and then he yeah. selects the size of the valve. So stop pacing, please. 180 beats per minute. 180 beats per minute. So blood pressure job. Inflation. Angiogram. Rotate. Deflation. Stop pacing. She has a lot. You may wait for. I'm looking for. Okay. Do it. Watch that. Go do it. Okay. So, what is your idea from the Moderate and uh, discontents. We are looking forward to your comments and your experience <laughs> about the bypass ARD valve. Can we see the angiogram again? Is it one shot? Okay, good. Uh, go over the angiogram. Uh, Wait. Uh, this is a typical sign of the by custody early valve balloon sizing. So you <coughs> can see the, we can see quite clear the waist on the balloon. Mm. So the waist side is uh, on, usually is uh, above the ring. It's around the 10 millimeter. Mm. So uh, simultaneously we do the angiogram, we cannot see any leaking, no leaking. Yep. So means the, the balloon 20 is uh, enough to 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 anchor the superannular structure, to anchor the native leaflets. So because so we are worried about the... How about the size? So, so, so what is, what is, it is, it is it a, What is a your suggestion? Do you so what is it that you, you know, you, you seal with the... Which size of a device? Where you seal with a 20 millimeter balloon. So what is, what uh, is your choice the for the valve the now? 23? Yeah. Uh, even the twentieth, yes, 20 I think 20 the 20 best best select is twenty three. Twenty three. Okay. Very small. So we select the smallest one. <laughs> we, we select the smallest uh, venous A plus. Yes. Twenty three. Twenty three. That's the smallest, right? We doesn't care about the how big size mm -hmm. of the ring. We care mm -hmm. about the the superannular structure. Mm -hmm. So Professor Wang. This is what we call the Hangzhou solution. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Yeah, well, Professor Wang, for this sort of bicuspid aortic valve, do you do any CT sizing beforehand using the CT images instead of using the balloon? Absolutely, we use CT. The Dr. Liu already showed you the CT. Actually, from the CT uh, scan, the, uh, the parameter derived diameter is 20. 22.3. 22.3. So we will use 26. It's also, uh, for this patient, it's the same. Uh, the CT scan is the same, but the uh, balloon sizing uh, is the same as the CT scan. But for most patients, the CT scan gave us uh, the ring. It's, uh, it's much bigger than the superannular side. Mm -hmm. So we usually we, we select the side based on the balloon, balloon sizing. Uh, especially for the uh, bicuspid aortic valve patient with severe calcification. For tricuspid, it's uh, maybe different. Maybe different. So can you explain, do, do you always start with a 20 millimeter balloon? 
Because, I mean, the, the orifice area of this valve was only about yeah. 0 0.5, yeah, so, wait, so you could also use a 10 millimeter balloon and it would have complete seal, right? So uh, why not, why maybe, not use... Maybe, but do you know, the, until now, the smallest... The smallest the size of device available is uh, is a 23. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. a 23. So we use the 30 balloon is quite reasonable. 18? No, 18 balloon, but not the, but the valve is 23. No, no. The smallest. But 18 balloon, no. Yeah. Uh, could you please explain about the uh, sizing strategy for uh, the It used to be we we start from 18, but now we change our strategy. We we start from the 20. We, we don't want the too many times of the balloon sizing. So usually for most of the patient with the bypass aorta patient, one time sizing, balloon sizing is enough. This is our experience, almost 90%, <laughs> almost 90%. Only 10% need the twice. Yeah. Oh, 90%, just one time balloon sizing is uh, totally enough. So could do you, you prefer, prefer what size of the device do you prefer? We already selected 23, <laughs> the smallest <laughs> one, <laughs> we'll say plus. <laughs> okay, we try to get in. <laughs> Uh, because so what would you have done <laughs> if the panel <laughs> voted for 26? <laughs> <laughs> Vote the panel off. <laughs> have you prepared the therapy for presentation? So the, uh, just now, <laughs> just now I already mentioned uh, the Venus A plus. Yeah. It's a little bit stiffer than the regular Venus A. So we we try to get the snail in together. We can you see that? For can the backup. For backup, can you see the snail? No. no. We, we already set the snail. Uh, would you camera, camera folks here? Zoom, zoom in here. Zoom in. Camera, zoom in I here. You have a snare my over finger, the over, over the wire and the device. That's what yeah. was it? Okay. Uh, yes, no. over yeah. over the sh over the the, the sheets. Uh, not over the sheets. Yeah, over from the, the same side. Okay. okay. Over yeah. the device. Because I want to pull on the. Can see we we the, the, the snail here. We put here. But well we cannot put a, <laughs> it's a little bit away from the <laughs> device, just here. Okay. Not, not the on top of the device, just uh, just the, the narrow part. Yeah. Okay. okay. So now we get the device in with the snail together. <coughs> okay. So big challenge is the the why the the left ventricle chamber is very small, so it's not good for even good for support the device in. So we gradually advancing, gradually advance the device. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. full device okay. in the descending so order. Should we use the snare together or just leave snare here? Uh, what in that? Just some snare. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, we bought it free. Free here. Free here. Top. So what is uh, your uh, idea? We we just uh, put the snail as a backup, or we we try the we try first time we try the device in without the without the snail, just a snail backup. So or we first what time exactly we is just the function of the snail, snail now? To well, they they want it around the arch. No, they can they see that when, the when they go close to the valve and then we the we valve maybe too stiff. The snail so then they pull on the go on through the, the tip together. of the delivery system. To get in line with the with the outflow track. Okay. I mean, even I'm not So shall we just leave the snare right here? We try to cross the valve I have used this for the four valve itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mostly in valve and valve actually. But I have never introduced it through the same sheath, so that's new for me. I had use the second axis and then I had to recross so it was ah, kind of cumbersome. This, this is actually this much more that that seems smart. My my idea is still we we get the snail and the device together because the wide support is not so good. I'm worried about the, the device can 
Watch the wire. The Watch the wire. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. And then you are talking. You are talking. Yes. Yes. And not so easy. But you need to use a much bigger yeah, sheath yeah, 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 yeah. in order yeah, to yeah, get the device and the snare yeah. in the same sheath. Uh, You're using a 20. The, the, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the 20, 20 French sheath is uh, big enough. Well, I think I think this is uh, you know one of the disadvantages of having a longer a longer valve. Because I mean, the, the point here is that the radial force of the Venus valve is much higher than the Foucault valve, and that's why the capsule is also more stiff. Mm. Mm. You see? So it's pulling on the tip. Yeah. yeah. That's good. That's not so easy. But we're getting. Well, it looked very nice, Did actually. Yeah. Yes, without a snare, we, we cannot get in because of the the wide support is uh, not so strong. Yeah, because of the too short part of mm -hmm. the Y inside the left ventricle. Very <laughs> nice. Uh, now we just uh, pull we back we a little the device. The we, we need to change <laughs> the <laughs> intensify yeah. angle to show the ring exactly. Show the yeah, that's the ring. We want to have a good alignment. Have you, have you seen this, Alan? The, 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 the I think so. Yeah. It's better we do a, a <laughs> angram <laughs> to see whether <laughs> our balloon in the, uh, whether the pigtail <laughs> in the bottom of non carnal sinus or not. Yeah, but Oh, let me, let me do an angram. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> But see now the, the, the tough part is yet to come. Okay, now we start to release the device gradually. Yeah. Are you using pacing? Prepare. Uh, a little bit. No, no, no. We, we not right now. We, we need to wait a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me check one more time the angiogram to mm. see what is going on. Maybe the device are a little bit too deep. Especially for this kind of patient, we, we it's better to have a higher deployment. Mm. So, but we, we, we cannot let the, the device <laughs> pump out. We don't want the device pump out. I think the, now the position is good. Go on. Go on, keep on going. Gradually, keep on going. Okay, wait, we're here. Okay. Don't move. L let me do a one more angiogram. So we we'll see what so is going on. It's okay. Looks fine. Yes. It's a retrieval. It's if it's not okay, we can retrieve. We can uh, advance again. Go on. So uh, go on. S uh, I think we can start pacing. Start pacing. Chibo. 138 30 beats per minute. Okay. Keep on going. Keep on going. See that part. We want I a high understand. department. I think the high department is very why? important. Because why why is it easier with the pacing with a weakening valve instead of uh, go on. Go on, keep on going. Uh, keep on going. Because blood pressure is lower. Keep on going. Go to the function. Go to the function. This is a super annular valve. Yep. Oh. Okay, that's a pop out. Super high. Sorry. It's, you know, uh, the, the band is actually the band is too much. It has the force. Yeah. 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 Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Is the pigtail still in the so the so the initial deployment cannot be too high. Yeah. Too high is uh, will be jump out. Is the, is the pigtail still okay? Okay. Oops. Uh, I'm just chug, chug your lean. Mm. You probably this time start a little deeper. Yeah. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm going to withdraw a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't want too deep. Yeah. Your race is uh, higher is better, high. but uh, we cannot too high. Cannot too high will be jump out. <laughs> it's difficult. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So how do you think? See, how do you think the initial deployment height Looks is uh, okay or uh, too, too shallow? I think that's or right. But this is what the is the exact problem. Comments? The course is horizontal. Mm. And the valve is going up. Yeah, but now it's too high. Yeah, now it's and now the, uh, the inflow uh, part is is bent. Mm. Uh, too, too deep. I think mm. it's too deep. We need to be a little bit shallow. Mm. It's a light in it. Pull a little bit. It's okay. Uh, just, just lock it. Just don't. Just lock it. 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 Oh, you can push a little bit. Yeah, no. yeah. Better. I push already. Yeah, yeah. It's better now. No, it's okay? Yeah. It's better now. So what is the target depth of this device? Well, actually, the markers, usually the markers should be at the level of the cusp, but actually he wants to implant it higher because of his bicuspid uh, technique. Mm. Yeah, but, but he is afraid that it pops out again, so that's yeah. the problem. So there's so there are little markers, right? Yeah, yeah. Do you know that the because of the bicusp, if we too initial deployment is too, too low, you already were diving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because of squeezing, it will be diving. So it's a uh, control is not so easy. Oops. <laughs> but, uh, Maybe too small. But it's very difficult oh, because so there is not only Why the is it jump out? It's also the uh, septal we valve which probably caused we need, we need a pop up here. It's both. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
很低了。I mean, this is this is really. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. 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 See the problem here. I think is that that I mean it's a very strong valve. It's a stiffer valve, and and you can see that the valve doesn't really follow the the ascending aorta part. You know, it's going up into the minor curvature, and then it simply pulls out. It's going to be a difficult deployment. Actually, what what you could do is to to advance the snare to the tip of the delivery system and keep it there. Ellen, you're a professor. What would you do? Uh, what is your idea? Yeah, we are asking. We are asking uh, Professor case. Young. I think when he put it all deep, uh, it's in the right uh, angle. Professor but Young. What happened is that when he pulled it back, such as yeah, it's straight, it's straight, straight, straight up. So I think he needs to put. Oh, he can get the stand to go down and basically have to pull the thing horizontal and start to release it. But I don't know how. You know, this is tough because this is very. Very stiff capsule. Mm -hmm. and no matter what you do, it's probably going to straighten out and make it difficult to. You see, here you can see where the uh, where the valve and the, and the snare is trapped in the aorta and the catheter right now. It's Should go. So he's going to pull it down. Okay, pull the snare down. Ellen Young. Yeah. Hi, Professor Wang. Oh, why? Hi. So this is like the old Corvaf days. Except you couldn't retrieve it every time it popped out. 2004. Yeah. <laughs> what happens if you keep the snare there? I have a picture like that. Keep the snare <laughs> there and release it at the same time. With it not too tight on the snare, but sort of keep it in the, in the horizontal. The horizontal. But you see. I mean, you are saying uh, use an Edwards valve, but uh, as you may know, the as far as I know, I'm not sure the Edwards results in China with no. these valves are not not optimal. Right? No, no, I know, but, but what I'm saying is, you know, any valve that's shorter than a long stick that you have here is yeah, probably yeah, yeah. Yeah. so hard to get this yeah. But I think, you know, the Edwards XT is not very good for this because XT is too short. Yeah. It's very easy to get missed and then it flies. Yeah. And, 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 you know, I think the S3 will be better, but, you know, they're obviously just testing the S3 now. Uh, they don't have S3 in, in China. They don't have anything. I think the problem is eventually you have to get this. The snare will be on the valve and then you'll be in trouble. Well, then horse has to quickly fly away. Hello, friend. So, so what is your idea? Uh, we we get the device in again. I, I would we get the device in the left ventricle again. I would leave the snare at the delivery system. A very challenging case. 
Yeah, leave, that is a very the challenging case. Leave the snare at the tip of sure. the delivery okay. system. Yeah. And have tension there and then pull the sheet back at the same yeah. time. And yeah. Yeah. Not so, too tight, so so that you don't snare. Crimp it down. But no, actually, it the down. snare can stay on the delivery yeah. system. It will go away with yeah. these... So, with the, so uh, you're, 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 you're yeah. suggesting yeah. this yeah. way? Yeah, and now pull a little bit. Uh, maybe Yusuf or may not. Okay. You see, it's uh, the problem is it will pull it. Sure. But then the pull back. You, you need, need to be able to pull on the tip. Somehow. Eventually, it just won't be at the tip. Uh -huh. And the device already in the left ventricle, in the middle of left ventricle, is a is a absolutely deeper. But uh, with this time, we don't want too shallow. Go on. But if you now Go pull on. a little bit on the snare, then it, you will be more coaxial. Oh, the way. Try to lie the snare. Uh, I don't think it's a, it is a key to solve the problem. Try to put the snare link in. Uh, I yeah. think it's a very tough because we are we are deployment now. It's a too difficult. But just keep on going. Just keep on going. This is not too difficult. The wave goes up now. Uh -huh. Yeah. And when you deploy it. It forces the valve into its horizontal position. Mm. Pay more attention to the north valve. We can't yes. change that. I'm worried about too deep. <laughs> Do an angiogram. Very deep. Yes. It's better to the mark just uh, on the bottom of the pigtail. Mm -hmm. I think it's okay. Here it should be okay. Here it should be okay. Maybe a little bit deep after deployment. Yeah. I think right now it's not so much a question of optimal depth out. right now, it's a question jump of getting, <laughs> getting the valve in. We, we don't <laughs> want to jump out. Try to get the valve quicker, then the valve will really go down. The valve is already going 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 down. The valve so for such a strong valve with strong radio force, will the pacemaker rate a bit high? Uh, a little bit deeper. We worry about jump out. But <coughs> you know, to be honest, I told you to do it. Yeah. Look, no, it's fine. Like, you like, like, can you see that? That's fine. 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 That's yeah, well, it's in the inner, it's in the... I even don't pull. Okay. So let me do an angiogram. The blood pressure is uh, coming back. Uh, 91 over 48. Yep. 100 over 40, 52. Uh, what is your idea uh, until now? What is your idea for we have done? I would do an angiogram. So far. I'm not sure. It seems to be very bit deep on Did the angiogram? Side. Oh, okay. no. Can you see it with the TEE? Do you see how far it is? No, it's I not too bad. Not that bad. Okay. But the angle is okay. not good. Huh? I don't think it's you can a regular it's okay. phenomenon. Uh, I think it's okay. Before we totally release the device, there's a bigger regurgy on the left of the coronary sinus. It's a Echo. regular phenomenon. Echo. When we totally release the uh, self expanding device, usually they were ju adjusting their, their position. So, so should we the see the, the regurgy may be on the echo? reduced? Hi, Dr. Yu. So now the echo is not quite correct, not, not, not quite precise, because before we totally released. I think it's so far, you can see uh, it's a little bit across the, the mitral right? now has a the mitral. Because we have not totally released. 
Uh, I, I think the mic is supposed to be okay. Yeah. Because of the not too deep, not too deep. No. It's okay. Before the procedure is uh, just a little bit uh, leaking, just a, a little bit leaking, much leaking. Uh, do you know very hard to say the patient uh, after we totally release whether the patient has uh, how big a uh, the moderate or, or, or mild regurgitation? Because the before we totally release, we can see some regurgitation on the left corner sinus is not true. And when we totally release, maybe the device will make adjustment by, by itself. So the regurgitation may be reducing. So just I mean keep on doing it. At this keep time, the valve is, uh, so this is a 23 the valve. Device. So we're going to release. I, I, even, I, I even don't put any tension. I even don't pull. I just, yeah. just leave it here. Can you mm. see my hand? Yeah. So I, I don't do any the add any no the OK. Gradually, gradually release. Gradually, gradually. Can you see that? I, I didn't touch the cap. Even. Very good. The position quite stable. Quite mm. stable. Good. Very good. Make okay. adjustment ah, good. a little bit deeper. A little bit deeper, deep. but we cannot, we cannot, we cannot, sh we cannot do the sh higher deployment for this patient. He looks like uh, we, that very dangerous to jump out. So can you see that the diastolic pressure is uh, growing? It's uh, getting up. Uh, take care, take care the wall. Uh, take care the wear. Oh, yeah. Okay. A, li a, li a little bit push the wire, please. Yes, okay. We try to get the device out oh. first. Oh. Okay, good. And keep the wire would in. Would you move the screen? Yeah. Let, let me see the apex of the heart. Yes. No, no. Put this out. Put this out. Put this out. Put this out. You can put this out. You can put this out. Now I'll put this out. Okay. Now first we, we pull out the snail sheets. I mean, this is snail belt, so just snail sheets to add in. We, we pull the snail sheets out. Snail cast it out. That is easy. Then you can soak it. Okay, that's it. Okay. I know you have to pull the snail out first. Huh? Yeah, yeah, so now it's easy. We pull the snail out. out. Yes. So don't uh, don't pull out the uh, together. Right. Just uh, pull the sheets, yeah, so snail sheets out. Then the mm. then the snail the snail out. So <coughs> what is the size of the cells? So now we pull the Maybe whole device out. It's very much like uh, 20, like 20 French sheets okay. for femur mm -hmm. growing. Yes, uh, Professor Wang, if you don't use the snare, what, what is the, minim what is the what minimum the number of French that can be used for 23 valve, venous valve? If you don't use the snare for other cases, uh, can we use 18 French or 16 18 French? 18 French. 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18 for 23. Then you can 18 use for 23 and uh, 26 may maybe okay. You can use it but without bigger is snare. Uh, uh, bigger oh, without size, we, need to the, we still need the 20. Uh, it's, it's similar like, well actually there's yeah. a little bit of bleeding, it's like with the portico, you have to okay. compress them. Okay. But you can introduce the snare via second axis. Keep right. doing yeah. the angiogram now. Just to in insert the snare so and the then cross the snare. And so what is your idea uh, before we yeah. check the pressure gradient, we need to one more time the pulse calibration. It's uh, okay. Do you prefer to measure the pressure gradient first or the post dilatation first? How is that? I, I would, I would from measure a, the pressure. From the first. T, uh, there's a oh. mild regurgitation, I think. Not much. Let's, you see, how you looks, looks, let's see how the pressure is. Yeah. Doesn't hurt. You can, it'll also give you a chance to pressure read. 65, so I mean that looks good. Yeah. And you can reposition your wire if you need to. Okay, the from the T we can see that there are only the mild regurgitation on, yeah. on the 10, 10 o'clock point. 10 o'clock point. So the diastolic pressure is 60, 60, 65, right? Yeah. 
59, uh, yeah. around the 60. Look at the well, fine. that's good. Look at the fine. Because of the seasonally is only 100. And the echo, at least from what we the see here, looks not so nice. Yeah. So you, you like the checker pressure gradient first, or we do the post first? Yeah. 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 Let's see the gradient. George. Then we know what the post Check the tail in or? Mm -hmm. I, I ask the panelists, yeah. what is your idea? I think you could <laughs> put leave it. There's no need to post <laughs> that I think it's better to do the to do the post dilatation. Then we check it. Uh, otherwise, we need to twice. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, but do you need the post dilatation at all? 20, 20. 20. Seems like it feels so the my hard team is uh, prefer to do a uh, one more the post dilatation. To do the post dilatation, then we check the pressure gradient. Okay. Why why do you do that? So, so what is your idea? We don't know how this valve performs. Any. Uh, <laughs> So the first one because we see on the TE we see the we see the mild regurgitation there. Okay. See that. Also but from the from the field from the floor low looks like the device are already expandable. I mean, with the Venus valve, we, have, we are very often see that these resilience okay. go away yeah. more than with the core valve because of the higher radius. So because of the regurgitation, because of the mild regurgitation, we just want to do a warm more time. The right. Mm. How big a balloon? Can I your regurgitation? What, what 20, balloon? 20, 0, 20. 20 again? 0, 20. Uh, new man, new man. Right? It's a new yeah. man. What size? New man. 20. Right. 20. 20. 20. Uh, because there are a little bit of the regurgitation there, so we just uh, want to have a warm, have a post dilatation. I don't know, I don't know why. No, to push. You wouldn't post dilate, right? No. no. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Not before. Mm -hmm. yeah. On the angiogram. Ellen, <laughs> would you post <laughs> <laughs> um, I think you. So I don't know this so valve very well, but it seems like there is some still the fair amount of. I don't think it's mild. I think it's a bit more. So I'll post dilate first. No, I, I think you do an angiogram. Uh, yes, because of the because of the regurgitation. So that's the reason why we want to do the post dilatation. <laughs> okay, stop pacing. One hundred eighty. She said that one year. One hundred eighty. He's, he's looking at the thing which they call echo. I'm an imaging cardiologist in Korea, and I would like to say something. And yeah, I think it's very uh, moderate to severe aortic regurgitation and transesophageal echo. It's not mild. Big. Yes, more to moderate at Why? least. So it is Why? very eccentric aortic regurgitation. Why? And yeah, it's it's, it's, a, it's a, a per pervela valve or the from central valve. Hmm. The Korean doctor says uh, it's a okay. moderate to severe regurgitation. Yeah, you yeah. don't look at so the that's why we need pressure. a post dilatation. Yeah. Diastolic pressure is uh, fifty-seven, around the sixty. Yeah, but in acute 16. aortic regurgitation, the diastolic pressure is not correct to quantify the aortic regurgitation severity. In chronic aortic regurgitation, so diastolic yes, we pressure now we can drop. Get the That's interesting that you say that because usually we look at the so diastolic so how pressure think it's at a the time of the implantation. Leaking, uh, it's and later on, it's part from the central leaking because of the why. Important to look at both the diastolic pressure and the LV diastolic pressure. Yeah, that will tell you more. Okay, so that was a good okay. part. Now, if you fix it, why, why, why don't we just see an maybe? angiogram? <laughs> so, talking about diastolic pressure, I remember many cases where we had um, actually Not significant the diastolic pressure. Now the pressure is one hundred thirteen over sixty-five, and then later on this one hundred eighteen over sixty-five. Yeah. LV? Yeah. 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 It's hard to see the pressure. Yeah. We, can, we cannot really see the pressures here. It's very dark. Uh, 113 over 64. No, but let's, let's look at the waveforms. Huh? Uh, see the waveforms. It's maybe the most green. Let them see. 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 
It's a very challenging case. Yeah, it was. Uh, typical no biopsy artery stenosis with a very big uh, angle, ascending angle. But with the help of the snail, yeah. we almost successfully finished Charlie. the procedure. Uh, now we are worried about the regurg, how, how much regurg is. I think the retrievable the device is uh, very necessary. The, uh, the plus, when it's A plus, it's, uh, I think they're doing very well. The performance is good. Performance is good of the new device. Halama. So hopefully we can get a device on market uh, uh, very soon. So now the bra patch is uh, 100 over 62. Uh, let us see the pressure oh, gradient. Nice. Uh, that's a, uh, pretty, it's a pretty good diastolic pressure gradient. Yeah, pressure gradient is uh, less, than seven, less than seven, less than six. That's a quite reasonable. Nice. <laughs> I have a question. Uh, may I have a I question? I think it's okay. Sure, yeah. go ahead. Uh, Hi. We can see pericardial effusion okay, you're on uh, echocardiography and angiography. There is pulsus paradoxus in the plasmography. It's okay? Uh, uh, so, so we can show you the key. Can, can you repeat your you question? Can you repeat your question? You can see pericardial effusion. You can see pericardial effusion. You can see pericardial effusion. You can see anything. No. Oh. So from the. Uh, a little bit of pericardial effusion yeah, well, a little bit more than a little bit. Mm -hmm. What was the baseline? Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. Uh, baseline looks like uh, baseline. Could you please show us about the bike have a view Probably 90 yeah, degree yeah, to 100 The floor looks no, without the the floor without the pericardial effusion. It's just to 90 degrees. 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 No residual pressure grading. We shall do a one more angiogram. Yeah, that okay? would be nice. Yeah. Okay. And then reverse the heparin and go away. So, so. Pericard looks like there are a little bit of pericardial effusion, but the blood pressure, the hemodynamic is uh, very stable. <laughs> and uh, before looks like without the pericardial effusion, but now it's a little bit, not much. Not much. So, well, one more angiogram? We shall. We shall. You know what saying? Okay. Okay, last shot. Can I see that? Yeah. Only chest, huh? Yes. Chest to mild regurgitation. Chest to mild regurgitation. Okay. So, what are your comments from yeah, our so moderate and the discontents? Uh, all our friend? No, I think, I, uh, to be honest, I think it is mild. Uh, by definition, I mean the next, uh, the, the next, uh, you know, beat, um, ejects the contrast. And I mean, given the complexity of the case now, with uh, a little bit of pericardial effusion and the difficulty, I think it's a, it's a really, really good result that you achieved there. Yeah, I agree. Top and I, I would now, I would cut it in end, revert the heparin, Thank and so see much. that the patient's going to be safe. Mm. Because there's not much you can do now, even if you do, wh what do you want to do, post it again? Yeah. I don't think it's going to change that. And, and given the fact that there's a no. stronger no, 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 expansion no. force, no. that no. might actually mm. uh, even get better over time. Mm -hmm. 
I think you any any comments from the from the panel? Yes, I think so. I I fully agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's the best time to uh, go away and then closely monitor the echo, reverse heparin, monitor the patient closely in the CCU, and then Chris, yeah, any I, comments? No, I agree. It's it, it very challenging case. Okay. And it's okay. Certainly demonstrated some you know, nice yeah, you can do tricks with the uh, snare, but now I agree, reverse heparin, watch the effusion, and uh, I think it's a good result for a very complex tough case. I mean, you look at the, the device, it's almost horizontal yep. uh, now that it's deployed. Yes, Jay, what do you think? Mm. <laughs> yeah. And now the final word from Horst. I absolutely agree, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Is there, is there <laughs> a, a question okay. from the audience, please. Yeah, uh, I would like to know from the panel, like uh, if you, you, we were using oh. an Evolute, uh, what would be the wire choice for this anatomy? Yeah, we can discuss this maybe um, a little bit later. What's yeah. your plan uh, now in uh, just watchful waiting or? Watching and waiting. <laughs> We're doing that. So any more Looks comments? good. <laughs> no, I think it's good. Thank <laughs> you very much again.